In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install, use, and configure the Rewards Lite plugin. First, let's install the plugin. There will be a link that will bring you here. All you have to do is click on download, go to your server, click on file manager, click on plugins, take the plugin that you have downloaded and drop it into your plugins folder. Remember to reboot your server. To check if you installed the plugin correctly, do slash pl. If the plugin shows up in green, then you have installed it correctly. Now, if I do slash rewards, it will open up this. This is the default reward. So after an hour, this will be redeemable. So I can go and open this up, click on it, and redeem the reward. Just to point out that I'm op, so I can type in slash rewards. But you need to give your players the permission to use slash rewards. Now let's take a look at the configuration. Go to your server, go to file manager, go to plugins, go to rewards light. Let's go to rewards. This is the default reward. We'll take a look at it. This is the time in minutes that a player has to wait to take it. Should this reward loop, if you want them to keep earning the reward every hour then you can set this to true should it count afk time this is the commands that it will run once the player has gotten the reward we'll give a player a snowball and a poppy flower this is how many inventory slots the player needs should they need the permission up here in order to get the reward do they go into last rewards to claim it manually how many can you have that are pending how many can they redeem does it not count the play time in the world to end or another so once i enter the nether the timer will stop this is what the reward looks like in the gui it was a chest it was called the default reward should you want it to glow how many chests are there all this is the message that will show when hovering over the chest this is what it will display when it's pending display when it's claimed I'm going to go into rewards. Let's say if I want to make a new reward. Up here it says do not copy over to new reward. But then how would that work? So let's say if I duplicate this. Default reward copy. Click on it. And it's the same thing up here. The thing that you're not supposed to copy into the next reward. What you want to do is go down here. And delete all of that that you copied. Once that's done, press save. What you want to do is go back to your console and reboot the server. Once it's done rebooting, go to file manager, go to plugins, go to rewards light, go to rewards, go to the one that you duplicated. And now this is back here, but it's completely different. This is rewards light dot reward dot default reward copy which is the name up here now you can change however you want this to be so let's say i want to earn it every minute should it loop yes uh give player cobblestone 64 delete this other one inventory slots needed one use permission false i don't want my players to need permission to use this should they claim it manually no i want it to claim it automatically after the minute goes goes by i want them to use it in every world so i'll delete that i want it to display a paper and then have all that be paper so i'm going to copy this and paste it in all these other ones paste paste barrier you know i'll keep that as a barrier intangible is you can't get it you are unable to receive this reward notifications so i wanted to show up in chat you have received this default reward no i don't want them to have any notifications so copy that boss bar no way pending should i have it show when it's pending no broadcast notification to everybody no want to save content after editing the reward you want to want to reboot your server again to make sure there aren't any errors do pl if the plugin is red then you done something wrong in the code and should probably go look back at it if i do slash rewards rewards it will show the paper and the default reward i have 38 seconds so we'll wait all right there's 10 more seconds and i should be able to claim it automatically i shouldn't need to have that open should just give it to me and there we go cobblestone and i didn't set where to have any notifications so 
didn't say anything that's how you will use rewards i have it on loot so it just keeps on going that should be it hope you enjoyed and bye